Feels good to get back on the split board, kicking off this winter season. About six months to go before Denali and feeling excellent. What a day. That's a split board. It's a snowboard that comes apart and at the top you put it back together and you ride it down. But basically you go uphill as if they're cross country skis. It's pretty remarkable. Whew. Loving it. Now when I'm hiking it feels great, but uh, just standing up here at the top, it's probably like 10 or 15 degrees and it doesn't feel awesome, but it's still nice to be out. Uh, I'm, I want to change over quick and get back down and get moving again, but I also wanted to take a little bit of time to just show you how split boards work in case you're unfamiliar, because it's a pretty uh, interesting thing. So let me see if I can flip this camera uh, around. Come on. Apparently you can't be recording and flip the camera. Interesting. Uh, okay. Glove back on. All right, how this works. Right now we're in uphill mode. It's uh, the skins are on the bottom, the binding articulates so you can move up. If you're going up a steep hill here, you got your riser so that your calves don't kill so much. But this is how you take them out. So right here, we're connected like that. Pop it up, and I pop it up. You can remove the binding. Very simple. Same thing over here. Pop it up, binding off. Okay. At that point, flip it over. And we want to get these skins off. This can be a trick, so I'm gonna put the phone down for a second. All right. So I've unclipped the skin from the top there. That's what I kind of need both hands for. And then you just pull. Yank that right off. And they come with little plastic covers that you put on to uh, protect the stickiness. Let's just sit right there for a second. And then these are the covers. It's always nice to see Santa enjoying the great outdoors. Alright, so we got the skins off, the skins are in the bag. Uh, next up is we want to clip the board back together. Now, now that the skins are off, the board slides, so you got to be careful that it, uh, it doesn't slide away on it. But, this is how we'll do it. Take the sides. See, they just basically they just clip right back together. There's a little little clip right here. That. Fit that in. Close it up. Bam. Lock it from the top with this little lever. Bam. That's one. Here's two. Clip that over. There we go. Lock it from the top. Just like that. And our board is now together, it's a snowboard. So then we take our bindings and this goes, see there's these like little plates there, or the little bars that hooks on to the end of the plate. And then you got these little levers that if you pull down on, on this bar, that little the white bar there we're gonna pull down on that and that brings those little uh, plugs back and then we just pull the bar up and the plugs go right in and they lock into that piece same thing over here we make sure our, uh, our bars are hooked on the front of the binding and then from the back, 
slide that in, pull this bar up to clip. You can't really see it because there was snow, but it clips right in there. And now our bike is set. So that's it, ready to ride. I just gotta put my poles away, throw my helmet on, and we go. And that's how you convert a flip board. Uh, I'm at Pat's Peak right now, which is just about an hour and 20 minutes north of Boston. And, uh, and it's a really cool place. They have a very lenient uphill policy in the sense that um, it's free. So you just come here, you don't have to pay, and, uh, and you hike uphill a few times, you switch over onto your split board, uh, and you ride down, and when you're done, you can go have a beer or go home or whatever, it's great. It's good training, close by, uh, so I recommend it. And that's, that's split boarding. <laughs>